Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it's Sunday, so it is time for Scrap Lift Crafternoon, where a group of my friends and I get together, find a layout that inspires us, and then we do our thing with it. So the layout we selected this week, because it's the 4th of July, is this awesome layout by Heather Leopard, and she'll have a YouTube and an Instagram account linked below. And I just, I think this is so cool. Um, I love all the cutout stars, especially now that my Cricut is working, you all. And so not all of us are probably going to do 4th of July or patriotic, but that's all right. Um, I did go a little patriotic. It's not 4th of July, but it's an engagement picture from uh, 2005. And my husband is military. And so we had the American flag in the background. Um, I pulled these alphas very similar to Heather's and then I have a couple of inks, uh, four different colors and I will go over what those are as I use them. And I'm going to start out with this Vicki Booten um, mixed media paper and then I've used my Cricut to cut three different stars and of course each star had like a star inside of itself. Um, so there's I think four of each um, shape of each shape. Wow four of each color <laughs> um whew. and so I um was about to say this is all the stuff I have and then I remember embellishments oh I have a couple of those um so I'm gonna use my inks for the little swooshy uh, that's what I've kind of decided to do so <laughs> we'll see how that goes um and talking about embellishments and stickers and ephemera I have it for days when it comes to uh, patriotic red, white, and blue, uh, military. Um, yeah, so this is just part of my patriotic military stash. Uh, and this is a big chunk of army stash, which obviously means my husband's in the army. Um, so, yep, I've got all of those. I don't know what I'm going to use, but I figure I've got it. So I've got my papers, my embellishments and ephemera, these inks my picture and this amazing uh, layout by Heather. So let's see how this goes. So the first thing I did was get an idea for where I wanted to put my stars. And like I said, I'm using this Vicki Booten. Um, it's super amazing paper. It's almost like cardboard. And I'm gonna put the little swoosh right here and you can't see what I am writing but I can up close, but you can't see it once I paint over it. Um, I just needed to get an idea for where I'm going with my star shoot. And she used a paper cut file and I think it's so cool. And then she stitched, uh, spoiler alert, you're not gonna see stitching. You're not even gonna see faux stitching. So, sorry. <laughs> I do love the look of stitching on a layout, it's so cool, but I just don't have the patience and the carpal tunnel in my hand says no. Um, so, uh, the first thing I did was take some Delusions Post Box Red Ink Spray. And I put it on a piece of plastic from a empty sticker packet. And I just smear that um, along the lines. It's controlled, not controlled, swooshing. I'm going to have to come up with a better title for what I do with this. I mean, the general idea happens, like what I want happens. So I get this little line that starts wide and gets thinner. And then I pull out my Delusions Shimmer Spray in London Blue. And this is by Diane Reevely. And uh, so is the Post Box Red. And I get that down. And I these Shimmer Sprays are some of my absolute favorites because they are, well, shiny. Um, and so I do the same thing with that. I get that down in a wider at the top and then it gets skinnier at the bottom. And it's just going to go down to where it's going to end up tucking behind the stars and the pictures. And then after that, I want something in between. And obviously, you know, I don't have, I do have white ink, but I just don't think that's what I'm wanting. So I smush out some Distress Oxide Candy Apple by Ranger uh, Tim Holtz. And I put that down with a watercolor brush. And then after I make sure that that is mostly dry, I do the same thing with Chip Sapphire by Tim Holtz. And I'm going to put that in that empty space between the um, London Blue and the Candied Apple. 
and it has a hint of purple to it not because it blended with the red because I was very cautious and careful with that and made sure the red was dry but that's just the color that this chipped sapphire kind of has is like that um blue with like a hint of purple in it and I'm okay with that um I just wanted a little bit more oomph up there and not just that one red and that one blue so I put that up there and I wasn't super specific about having um no white in between I'm perfectly fine with that so there is little bits of white here and there and after I get done with that, I put it all away. And then I remember she has splatters all over the place. And I think that's so neat. And so I put it away and then bring it back and make some splatters. I just take my watercolor mar um, thing. Oh, yeah, I cut my picture first. Um, now, y'all are going to think I'm crazy because I cut this out. We had these done at Sears in 2005. And I cut out the dingy looking bits um, around the outside because it's they're old. And they, it, I don't even know how long I've, I mean, I know I've had it since 2005. But I think this might have been my grandmother's or something because I have mine like in a frame somewhere. So I just, now I'm going to take my watercolor brush and I'm going to tap out the candy apple, the chip sapphire. And I dry it in between with a paper towel because I don't want purple purple. And then I do tap out some of the post box red because that uh, candy apple is a really, um, is a little bit, uh, well, obviously it's lighter and I want that bold red. And I've had a really hard time in the past using red and I've heard other people say this because it just looks like blood on your paper. Um, so I do love the way that it ends up on here and I love the splatters of the red because of the way it fits with everything. So it doesn't look like blood splatter. <laughs> so after I uh, get that done, I set it aside so it can dry. And then, <laughs> and this is why I think you all are going to think I'm crazy, I matte my picture in white. Yes, I know it had a border, but it was dingy. There was like a little um, printing spot on it. I just felt like a very thin white border of white, white, and not kind of like a dingy white was going to look better. So I put a super thin, not even an eighth of an inch border. And then I'm going to take my chip sapphire and just very lightly go around the edge and I'm probably doing that off camera and I apologize for that um you know it <laughs> I sometimes forget even though I've been doing this for a year now over a year I sometimes forget that I need to make sure I lean forward so you can see what I'm doing kind of the point of a process video <laughs> So I get to, I'm done matting my picture because I matted it on that red and white polka dot. And then I take this white star and I'm going to ink around it in kind of sloppy. Like I don't do it real clean and neat and I don't want it to be. I need the white to stand out against this white paper. Um, but I don't want it to be overly blue because I already have blue star. And then I take my Tim Holtz Distress um, tool and I distressed the red and I distressed the blue. I did not distress the white one because I inked it and so I thought that this would be the perfect fit. So then I've already attached those stars to each other I think maybe not I don't know. Um, I turn them upside down and tape them together so they don't have to worry about it. So I start by putting these little stars that came out of the inside up here at the top corner and the bottom corner. And then I'm looking at her sketch and she's got even more, or her layout, and she's got even more stars on there. And I do have one more set of bigger stars. So I decide that I am going to switch, take the small stars off. And then put the two bigger stars on here, like inside of each other. and But alternate the colors. So up there at the top, I put that red one and then put the blue inside. And then I'm going to use that red star somewhere else. And I do love the way that this ended up looking. Because it's keeping that same pattern across the board. And I got to use all but two of the white stars. And I'll use those on something else. Because I use stars all the time. That's why when my Cricut was not working it was very frustrating <laughs> so I've taken those stars I flipped them over and I just used some double-sided tape to keep them together the way I had them because I knew I liked them that way and if I don't do that I will put them back down and get frustrated because it's not laying the way I liked it 
So the double-sided tape probably would have been enough because it's really only partially laying on some mixed media. But I thought for extra security, I would put some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive on there. And I'm mostly wanting to cover the end of that star shoot with the star because that's kind of the point. And, but I don't want to cover too much of the star up with my picture. And instead of using any of the double-sided tape, I just use Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to get my picture down. Because it's going on top of the stars, on top of the stars over on the right side, as well as mixed media. So I just figured it was just better safe than sorry. So I put that blue and red star down kind of, um... Not neatly, and I do that on purpose because, like I said, I have already distressed these stars, so everything is a little um, grungy, and so I put those down. There's gaps here and there, and that's fine with me. Like, I did, I kind of put things together like that uh, without a whole lot of light-handedness, I guess I would say. So then I put some Nouveau Deluxe down and put the little red and white star at the bottom and that blue star is going to go up there at the top and both of the big stars and that little blue star are coming off so they just extenuate extenuate <laughs> uh, they just make the page look like it's not ending at the top and the sides <sighs> anyway <laughs> So, and now I'm going to go through my ephemera and see if I can find some things that I want to use. And I set some things over there on the right. I put most of it back, but I do have some red and blue stars that I put down. And I have um, a couple other things. And then these little squares. One's got a flag and it says Made in America. And I thought that would be cute. That could be my title. Or I could, I'm going to add something with the silver font that I had out earlier. Um, so I put this Made in America here because... Well, my daughter was made in America, and so was our marriage, so, you know. And then I have this little square with the stars in it that go with that. And I went ahead and put that over here on the right side of the picture. And so I like the way that that is. I feel like that's really enough um, ephemera because there's so much going on on this page already. So I pull out some um, alphas. And these are the silver alphas that I shared in the beginning. And it's thickers called hard cover and they're silver foil. And so I just used that and I knew that deluxe all the alpha letters because it's going right on top of that mixed media. And it's kind of hard to tell in, at this angle, but you can see it very well. It stands out um, in person. It's probably because the way I have my light shining and it just says family and um so <clears throat> excuse me so this that's just going to be what my title is um could be made in america but family felt a little bit more appropriate because this is our engagement pictures and um so well this isn't the engagement picture there's one of just the two of us but we also wanted to take some family pictures and so that title is very fitting because we are a family <laughs> And so, um, then I have these stars by, um, Stickabilities. And so I put those down. She's got some silver stars on hers and I love them. They're all these little itty bitty, like they look like they're thickers or foam. And so these are kind of puffy stickers. So I thought those would work well, well, I was going to say really well. And I said, real, that's nice. Can't talk today. Um, and I just add those kind of all around. A couple of them go in the swoosh and just around all the rest of the stars. I didn't put anything inside of the star. Her inside star is filled. But my, I just left open because I had all those splatters and I felt like that was good. And then I got my blue stickles and red stickles and I just make a dot here, make a dot there, just kind of all over. I do have silver stickles, but I thought with the stars in the alphas, um, I thought that was good enough. So I get all those down there and then I'm going to be done. So I'm going to show you her layout again. You all should go check out her video. It was really cool watching her create this. Uh, she has some other really neat layouts. Um, like I said, she will be below. And then my fabulous friends, Christine, Kimberly, Anna, and Tara should be linked below too. I'm not sure who is playing along this week. I'm 
thinking that it was everybody, but um, their links will be below one way or another, whether it is directly to their um, video for this hop or if it is just their um, link for their channel because if they aren't doing this, they've done something and they are all super talented. Oh, I look so young in that picture, you all. Oh, 17 years. <laughs> I've only aged a little and have a few gray hairs from there. But anyway, I love the way this layout turned out. It is super fun and lots of color. So I hope you all will come back tomorrow for an off the board. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Happy scrapping.